I hate that. Huh. What have we got here? What happened? They got away. Hey, you stole an egg? Uh. Well, I guess the raid wasn't a total waste after all. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Oh, yeah. Nice going, Spike. Well, what are you waiting for, Spike? Smash it! Smash the egg? Yeah! Yeah! Throw it on the ground as hard as you can! Yeah! yeah. Smash, smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! No! It's just a defenseless egg! Like I was! And I'm not gonna let you hurt it. What did you say? I said no. No one says no to me. No pony's gonna lay a claw on him. That's right. Fighting's not really my thing. I'm more into fashion. But I'll rip you to pieces if you touch one scale on his cute little head. Oh, scary! <laughs> Spike, are these Namby Pamby ponies your friends? Yes, they are, and they're better friends than you could ever be. Now, if you don't back off, you'll see what us ponies do when confronted by a huge group of jerky dragons. Oh yeah? What's that? Run away! <laughs> That was a close one. Thanks, you guys. Of course. What are friends for? You're more than friends. You're my family. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, seeing the great dragon migration made me wonder what it meant to be a dragon. But now I realize that who I am is not the same as what I am. I may have been born a dragon, but Equestria and my pony friends have taught me how to be kind, loyal, and true. I'm proud to call Ponyville my home and to have my pony friends as my family. Yours truly, Spike. <laughs> hey, welcome to the family, Pee-wee. Stick with me. I've got plenty to teach you about being a pony. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary? Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year! Oh, uh, Miss Zakora, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two so she won't return to come eat you!
erase your tiny village with our presence so that you might be whole, the real princess of the night. A creature of nightmares no longer, but instead a pony who desires your love and admiration. Together we shall change this dreadful celebration into a bright and glorious feast. Did you hear that, everybody? Nightmare Moon says she's gonna feast on us all. What? No, children, no! You no longer have reason to fear us. Screams of delight is what your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived! <laughs> What is the matter with you? Very well, then. Be that way. We won't even bother with the traditional royal farewell. I'm gonna go talk to her. Ugh, you can't talk to her. She's Nightmare Moon. No, she's not. I saw the elements of harmony change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume. Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! From Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. that we have here. Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, you? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Oh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Golly! You have tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens. Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room. But none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. 
depan. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's Desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo. -doo. Sowie! Heart's Desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. I'm <laughs> so hungry. Yeah, I can't wait. I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Oh, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Hmm? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con! Going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con! Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My Ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! And it's Fleetfoot for the stones! Oh, bravo, Rarity! I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? And Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonder Bolts. Trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. Really. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. Lot of 
ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> Maybe even thousands! <gasps> Rainbow Dash Show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash Show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair. Hey, yes! <laughs> the Heart's Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered, until one fateful day, it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribes' precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering. And the angrier every pony grew, the worse the visit became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasus, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. <sighs> us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us. We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you? Unlike you Pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Come on, fun. I can't! If you can't catch her, Discord wins! That big, dumb baby! Where are the elements? 
did we stop this court? Maybe it's a little early for a group hug. <laughs> Chaos is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Not as wonderful as friendship. Oh, this again. That's right. You couldn't break apart our friendship for long. Oh, Applejack, don't lie to me. I'm the one who made you a liar. Will you ever learn? I'll tell you what we've learned, Discord. We've learned that friendship isn't always easy. But there's no doubt it's worth fighting for. Oh, gag. Fine. Go ahead. Try and use your little elements. Frenemies. Just make it quick. I'm missing some excellent chaos here. All right, ladies. Let's show them what friendship can do. Wait, wait, wait! gathered here today to once again honor the heroism of these six friends who stood up to the villain Discord and saved Equestria from eternal chaos. If you could just give her to me. Nope. Oh, no! Give her back! No! Don't touch it! What's all the commotion about? They're fighting over that doll! That incredible, amazing doll!
Y'all hear that? What in the name of all things oats and apples is going on here? Don't look at it! Don't look at what? My smarty pants doll. I enchanted her and now every pony is fighting over her. Why would you enchant your doll? Oh, I had to do something. I had nothing to report to Princess Celestia. I thought if I couldn't find a problem, I'd make a problem. The day is almost over. Not almost. Twilight Sparkle. Poor Nelly. the library. Goodbye, girls. If you care to visit, I'll be in Magic Kindergarten, back in Canterlot. Magic Kindergarten? Canterlot? We're never gonna see Twilight again! Uh, what are we gonna do, y'all? Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing! <laughs> What? I really mean it this time. But, but I'm supposed to send you a letter about friendship every week. I miss the deadline. I'm a bad student. I'm tardy. You are a wonderful student, Twilight. I don't have to get a letter every week to know that. Really? Wait! You can't punish her! It wasn't her fault. I'm listening. Please, Your Highness, we all saw that Twilight was upset. But we thought that the thing that she was worrying about wasn't worth worrying about. Stay still, Apple Bloom. You have to look sick. <laughs> ah! Hey, look at What in the hayseed is going on in there, silly Billy? Oh, Granny Smith. We were just about to come get you. <laughs> Apple Bloom's sick. Looks like she might have to stay home all week. <laughs> Perfect as a Piccadilly pear. Now what? It's already almost sundown. Tomorrow is Sunday, and I only have one more day to figure something out. Hey, look! <laughs> The Zap Apples have appeared, and that gives me an idea. Can't move Family Appreciation Day, so let's move Harvest Day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zap apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Any other bright ideas? Granny Smith, it's Miss Cheerly! Apple Bloom said you wanted to speak with me? Hello! Granny Smith... Oh. Well, hello there! How do you do? Uh, hi, uh, Granny Smith. 
Is uh, everything okay? Of course it is. Why would it be? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, pickles always give me the hiccups. I need to tell you that I can't make the presentation on Monday after all. Oh, no. Is that so? No doubts about it. I gotta share the flowers and water the sheep. I mean, uh, I have to water the flowers and share the sheep. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too bad. We can reschedule. <laughs> well, howdy, Miss Cheerily. You window shopping? Uh, no. You asked me to come here to tell me that you wouldn't be making it to Family Appreciation Day? Fiddlesticks! I wouldn't miss it for all the tea and canter lot. But <laughs> didn't you just say, See you Monday? Hmm. I can't believe she woke up from her nap. She never wakes up from her nap. I wish I could just run off and hide. Well, you can't run off, but maybe some pony else can. Huh? I mean, it was. I mean, it is. Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. I wonder where Cranky got this. Huh, will you look at that? Yay, 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 yay! What have you done? <laughs> there! Uh, all better? No, not all better. All soggy! I'm sorry, Cranky. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No, it isn't. Listen to me, kid. I will never be your friend. Never? Never, ever, 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 ever! That's four evers. That's like forever. I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would never, forever be my friend. It was horrible. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over-the-top super hyper antics. Rainbow! No, no, it's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying, what you're both saying, and I guess I can leave Cranky alone. Right after he accepts my apology. There's nothing you can do. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Her? Her who? The special friend? Go away, Pinky! Cranky, it's me again. I understand. 
understand that you don't want to be my friend or accept my apologies. But before I leave you alone forever, I have something to at least try to make up for ruining your book. No, I don't want it, kid. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. Goodness, you really are cranky. It can't be. Is it really you? It can. And it is. Matilda, but how? Pinky. The answers you seek, let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. Do you like my mystical orb of fate's destiny? I just got it. Cool, huh? Yeah, uh, best one I've seen. Look deep into the crystal ball, for soon it will reveal all. Ah, yes, I see something. It is a vision of the future. I see you, Twilight. You will get a really cool birthday present next year. Yes, and that's it. Are you sure? Yep, cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that, see? Where did that even come from? La 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 Gosh, I haven't seen Twilight since the flower pot incident. Hope she still isn't mad. Uh... Off by 0.02 from yesterday. Carry the 15. Negative azimuth on the 14th moon. Hey, Pinky. Twilight's really serious about finding out about that cool birthday present, isn't she? Who cares? As long as I can keep eating ice cream. Sorry, future Spike. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, Pinky, I'm glad you're here. Can you help me recalibrate the apertures on the nine and quarter catadioptric telescopes? Sure! So I was thinking, after I came to see Madam Pinky and the flower pot landed on my head, see the bandage, just like the bandage from the future. Nice! I had an epiphany after that flower pot. Doing things didn't work, not doing things didn't work, and I couldn't predict the future either, so I only had one other choice. Monitor everything. Makes sense to me. That way, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be ready. I thought I saw something last night in the Horsehead Nebula, but after staring at it for three straight hours, I realized I was wrong. Three hours? But when did you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept since Future Twilight was here. There are only three days left until next Tuesday. I can sleep all I want after that. You've been awake too long, Twilight. Yeah, Tuesday's not three days from now. Tuesday's tomorrow. <gasps> Pinky, did you finish recalibrating the apertures on the nine and quarter inch catadioptric telescopes? I have no idea. Ow! My eye! Don't worry, Twilight. I have eye patches stashed all over Ponyo in case of eye patch emergency. There! Now you look like a pirate. A sleepy pirate with a really weird mane cut. The eye patch. Another sign. Nearly all the signs have come through. I haven't done a thing to prevent the catastrophe. If Tuesday's tomorrow, and the disaster happens by Tuesday morning, then there's only one solution. I'll just have to... Stop time. Okay, the Canterlot archives are right over there. Let's move. I don't think we need to sneak around, Twilight. It's not illegal to walk around Canterlot. Guard! Come on, you guys. Oh, that was close. I don't know why we have to wear these things either. Aren't we wearing them for fun? No, there's nothing fun about this. Oh. Are you sure? Focus, guys. The only way to prevent this disaster is to stop time. Time spells are kept in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing, the most secure section of the archives. That's why we're sneaking around. Awesome! That sounds fun! Oh, I'm so worried. Is her face gonna stay that way? Oh. 
is she, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. How long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Ooh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super-duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked like and good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No, thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. She's serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous. Fierce and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. As Daring Dude trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. <laughs> Forget it! I don't like ponies touching my hooves. Man. I'd love it if Gabby Gums did a story on me. She did one on me. What? Ah! Exclusive. Local dragon tells all. Spack opens up about Canterlot, Naps, and his fight for jams. It's our best column yet. More like your worst column yet. Gabby Gums didn't become the biggest thing in Ponyville with Nappy Pamby stories like this. <sighs> yeah, she's right. This column is a little softer than our usual gossip. Were you guys feeling guilty about all the gossip, too? Like, maybe we could be hurting other ponies' feelings? Yeah, I didn't want to say anything because every pony loves Gabby Gums so much, 
but I was sort of hoping we could start writing more stories like this one. Me too. If we're gonna get our cutie marks, we've got to give the ponies what they want. Aww. Applejack, asleep on the job. Can y'all believe this? And this one, Big Macintosh, what's he hiding? Who the hey does this Gabby Gums think she is? Listen to this one. Twilight Sparkle, I was a counterlot snob. A well-placed scaly source close to the prissy pony says Twilight Sparkle thinks Ponyville is nothing but muddy roads and low-class rubes. Spike! Ah! How could you say such a thing? Well, I didn't! Gabby Gums made that up! I never said anything like that! Every pony, please! She's just a harmless school pony engaged in a little idle gossip. You're really making too big a deal out of this. But it's all lies. Gabby Gums prints whatever she wants. She doesn't care whose reputation she destroys. Fluttershy has tail extensions. Pinkie Pie is an out of control party animal. What? It's true. I do have a problem. <laughs> oh, look. According to this one, the cakes are breaking up. We are? Well, my life is officially over. Gabby Gums has made it to Cloudsdale. Rainbow Dash, Speed Demon or Super Softy? I grabbed as many copies as I could, but it was too late. I'm a laughing stock. See, Rarity, your so-called harmless gossip can be very hurtful. Honestly, you ponies have no sense of humor. So she tweaks a few ponies every now and then. Maybe they deserve... <gasps> I'll destroy her! The Drama Queen Diaries. She's reprinted my diary. How could Gabby Gum possibly get access to my private diary? We've got to put a stop to this once and for all. Sweetie Belle's on the newspaper staff. Maybe she knows who Gabby Gums is. <gasps> my sister would never associate with someone as beastly as Gabby Gums. I resent you even suggesting such a thing, Twilight. Why, she's the most innocent, most lovely. Most evil pony in Equestria! How could my own sister steal my private diary? How could my own sister be... Gabby Gums? It's two Gabby Gums! You know? How'd you find out? The gilded pages of your betrayal! Oh, yeah. How could you do this to me? You stole my sacred diary and published it for all the world to read. Gossip can be a very hurtful thing. It is an invasion of privacy, just like when I snooped through your saddlebag. You didn't like that much, did you? No. Cadence is only the most amazing pony ever. She's beautiful, she's caring, she's kind. I am so lucky to have you as my full sitter. I'm the one who's lucky, Twilight. <laughs> You're a princess. I'm just a regular old unicorn. You are anything but a regular old unicorn. Sunshine, sunshine, lady likes the wake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> <laughs> I am going for a hope of cure, and you that is not... I'm not going. I, I am. I, I, I am. paid for three I, this no, month. You know, I mean, my girlfriend, they're all getting their hooves done, and you said... Oh, oh, sweet. Oh. <laughs> just did that thing. How many unicorns can just spread love wherever they go? I only know of one. And you're marrying her. You're marrying Cadence. You're marrying Cadence. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. What are you doing? Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh-huh. I've got to get back to my station, but Cadence will be checking in with all of you to see how things are going. I think I speak for both of us when I say we couldn't be more excited to have you here. Right, dear? Absolutely. Well, we'll let you get to it. Cake. Chick. A sculpture. Chick. 
Best darn bite size apple fritty ever tasted? Hmm. Check. I do. Do you? I do. Mwah. 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 <laughs> Hi, a princess. Please call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Hi, a princess Miyamore Cadenza. You come to check out what's on the menu for your big day? I have. <laughs> Delicious. I love, love, love them. <laughs> oh, shucks. Why don't you take a few to go? I know how you brides can be. So busy you forget to get a little something in your belly. <laughs> Do you see what she... Oh, you should have seen how she acted back there. I don't know when she changed, but she changed. Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Did I hear someone say my name? Your Highness, let me just start by saying what an honor it is to play a role in such a momentous occasion. <laughs> uh huh. Is my dress ready? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, I've been working on it ever since I was given the assignment, and I think you'll be pleased with the results. <laughs> I was hoping for something with more beating and a longer train. Oh, yes, of course. And those should be a different color. I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. Make them a different color. Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Demandy Pants. Okay, let me see. We've been over the key. The dancers? <laughs> I think this reception is gonna be perfect, don't you? Perfect. If we were celebrating a six-year-old's birthday party. <gasps> Shy, what are you doing? That's no way to behave. Didn't you see what he did to new Fluttershy? And he thought new Fluttershy was a pushover. No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy? Old Fluttershy? What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No, you want wimp Fluttershy. You want pushover Fluttershy. You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy. Yeah, too many Fluttershy's to keep track of. Make it stop. Things getting too complicated for your simple little brain, Pinkie Pie. Now, stop right there. Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone! Fashion is her passion! Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about! <laughs> Looks like Nasty Fluttershy is here to stay. Oh, I cannot believe what that monster Iron Will has done to you. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Will's not a monster. He's a Minotaur! I'm the monster. Yeah, he's the one that made you act super duper nasty. What I mean is, 
There are other ways to assert yourself besides yelling at every pony. Yes, you can stand up for yourself without being unpleasant about it. Uh, I'm not sure I can. I'm too far gone. Whenever I try to assert myself, I become a monster. Oh, sweetie, you're not a monster. No, but he is. Iron Will's my name. Training ponies is my game. What a darling little catchphrase. Your friend Fluttershy loved Iron Will's catchphrases. Word on the street is that she doesn't take no guff from no pony. So, Iron Will is here to collect Iron Will's fee. Fluttershy is in no shape to deal with that creep. Uh, I'm sure a big, brave, powerful, and rich monster, I mean, Minotaur, like you, doesn't need that money right away. You can afford to come back later. Are you kidding? Fluttershy is overdue as it is. Iron Will collects now. Do something. We're not even sure Fluttershy is home right now. Uh, she might be off frolicking with some woodland creatures. Uh, why don't you give us some time to track her down for you? Iron Will does have some grocery shopping to do. Iron Will will come back this afternoon. But that's only half a day. We need one full day at least. Iron Will will delay for half a day and no longer. A full day. Half day. Full day. Half day. Half day. Full day. We need half a day and no more. Well, you'll get a full day and no less. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Wait, what? Huh, sounds like the search won't be necessary. Iron Will collects now. But we have an agreement. You gotta come back tomorrow. When some pony tries to block, show them that you rock. <laughs> 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 